The UK energy sector is facing three problems, what are sometimes called the trilemma. There's the issue of climate change. We need to reduce our carbon emissions from the sector uh, quite dramatically by the middle of this century. We need to do that at a reasonable cost and we need to do that while maintaining the security of our supplies of, of fuels into the UK. In terms of, of climate change, there are a number of different ways in which we can reduce uh, carbon emissions. This would inevitably involve some combination of moving from a fossil fuel based energy sector to one which has much greater use of renewables and uh, nuclear power. Now in addition to that the UK energy sector already has aging power plants which are going to be decommissioned over the next few years and this is going to be an, a, a very large cost even if we weren't going to try and uh, reduce carbon emissions. We have uh, established three possible or typical pathways, transition pathways, towards this low carbon future. The first is called market rules. That's basically a continuation of the market-based energy sector that we have at the moment. We then have a pathway which is called central coordination, and that presupposes that the government will intervene more in the market, will become much more of a strategic player as we're going forward. And finally, there's one called a thousand flowers. And the idea behind that is that uh, local communities, local authorities might start to develop their own energy strategies and technologies from a bottom-up position. So we might have more so-called microgenerators, energy producers in the home, which will produce the vast majority of the energy consumed. In order to study these transition pathways, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, or the EPSRC in the UK, has funded a consortium of nine universities which is looking at these different uh, transition pathways. This uh, consortium is made up of roughly 50% of engineers, of which I'm one, and 50% of social and policy analysts. And so we're trying to look at both the technical problems involved and also the social problems and economic problems involved in getting from where we are now to a low carbon future in 2050. As part of this consortium, uh, the University of Bath has two particular strands of work that it's trying to undertake. The first of these is to look at the energy system as a whole system and try and evaluate what are the energy and environmental implications of the UK energy sector. And the other uh, particular element of the project is trying to look at what we call horizon scanning. What technologies might develop between now and 2050 that will have a very significant effect on the energy system going forward? Here at the University of Bath, we will be evaluating the environmental impact of the three transition pathways. So we'll be looking at the entire UK power system on a life cycle basis, from the extraction of materials and fuels, um, transport to the power plant and delivery of electricity to the customer. Our whole system analysis differs from analysis done by the Committee of Climate Change as we take account of upstream emissions, not just the emissions from the plant itself. All forms of electricity generation have some form of upstream emissions, and um, if that's just to produce the steel for a wind turbine or the actual combustion of coal within a plant. And it's important to keep account of all these upstream emissions to give the true environmental um, impacts of the electricity produced and shows the limitation of how much the UK power system can be decarbonised. It's important for governments and government agencies to understand what are the options that we have in terms of the energy sector going forward. Energy production in the UK is dominated at the moment by fossil fuels which produce a large amount of carbon dioxide emissions. We can't uh, continue with that and in the future we'll have to have an energy sector that looks very different from the one that we have today. What we're trying to do is to study uh, climate change to see what factors we need to take account of in order to reduce our own uh, carbon emissions, how the, the different pathways might play out as we're moving towards 2050, and what new technological options might there be in order to help us reduce these carbon emissions. And we hope that it will produce results which will be of significant interest to policymakers in the UK and in the wider world.